this way, everyone. Gather around, please. Gather around because it is time to have fun with science! Yay! Hello, all. Is everyone enjoying their day so far? Yeah. Are you? That is wonderful to hear. Now allow us to introduce ourselves because my name is Dr. Bunsen. How do you do? And up there is my loyal assistant, Beaker! And also with us are our intrepid interns. Let's have a nice big round of applause for Newton and Einstein, everybody. There they are. We are from Muppet Labs, where for many years I've created inventions to make everyone's life easier. Isn't that right, Beaker? We've been invited by Mr. Mickey Mouse himself to share some of the groundbreaking work going on at Muppet Labs and to get you excited about science. Everybody, are you excited about science? Let me hear you! Launch into the sky. All right. Well, I'd like to introduce the Muppet Mobile Lab. Everybody go. Yes, yes. Now, uh, all right. Now let's start off our newest demonstration with a bang by introducing my latest invention. Yes. <coughs> Mankind has always yearned to explore the galaxy, so today we shall attempt to blast a chicken into space. Introducing Space Chicken. Yes, all right, Beaker, prepare the chicken launcher. Watson to Priscilla. Come in, Priscilla. Are you ready? Over. Of course, we're using Priscilla Beaker. She's our test chicken. It's safe, Beaker. Remember, I invented it. We'll begin the countdown for this historic launch of a chicken into space. And when we reach zero, I need everyone to look upward, wave, and then shout out, Bon voyage, <laughs> Get ready, everyone, because the headline is free. That is one small step for man, one giant leap for a tree. Here we go. Say with me, Bon voyage! Everyone, look, look! She's so high, you can barely see her! Look, you got to strap the monitoring device onto her. Uh, come in, Priscilla, can you hear me? Oh, safe travels, Priscilla. You hear Mars beats chickens. Beaker, you're quitting? Hey, I'll miss Priscilla too, but that's no reason to leave Muppet Labs. You know, if you leave all these people here, We'll be heartbroken, isn't that right, everyone? Yeah. Don't you love Beaker and want him to stay? Let's hear you! Woo! There, you see that Beaker? You could never be replaced. All right, Beaker, time to find your replacement. <laughs> hey, you know, Beaker's replacement could be anyone here. And since the Muppet Mobile Lab is a top secret prototype, you all must be sworn to secrecy. My soon to be replaced assistant Beaker here will swear you in. So, everyone, please raise your right hand and then. Repeat after Beaker. Beaker, go right ahead. <laughs> All right, that's enough swearing in front of the children, I think. <laughs> so, uh, does anyone here think they have what it takes to be a puppet mobile lab assistant here and replace Beaker's position at Puppet Labs? Raise those hands in the air. My assistant Newton here will attempt to spot you in the crowd. Don't all rush those hands into the air at once. Oh, here we go. Let's give this gentleman a round of applause, sir. Thank you for volunteering. My name is Dr. Bunsen. How do you do? And what is your name, please? Tim? Oh, Neil, sorry. One syllable words are very difficult for me. Neil, nice to meet you. Now, Neil, um, we're going to give you a point right off the bat for getting your name right, so that's a good job so far. Now, Neil, out of curiosity, what was your most favorite part of Beaker's Oath? <laughs> the me, me, me part, right? The, wait a second, your name is Neil. Folks, you're not going to believe this. Neil and I went to school together. Oh, what a small world, Neil. Neil, have you ever heard this song before? Everyone sing along if you know the words.
I know it's catchy, Beaker. Neil, we're going to move on to the formalities of the application process. It's time for the all important eyes. You see, a good scientist knows that safety depends on perfect eyesight. For if you do not have the ability to observe the most intricate of details, Neil, it could cause a dangerous safety hazard. And that is why, here at Muppet Labs, our motto is safety first. Isn't that right, Beaker? Neil, I just need you to look at the words located on the side of the lab and read out loud what you see. Uh, yes, Neil, you are, but I do need you to read the words located on the side of the lab. I'll give you a different one. You know, if we were testing egos rather than eyesight, you'd pass with flying colors, Neil. <laughs> Neil, I'm going to give you an easier one, but I do need you to get over yourself for just a moment. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen, I blame social media. <laughs> now, uh, Neil, I'm going to give you a new one. This is going to be very easy for you to read. Are you ready for this, Neil? Alright, try this one on for size. <laughs> Only if you say so, Neil. <laughs> you know, between you and me, Neil, you may need to see an eye doctor, so good luck with those eyes of yours. Give Neil a hand. Neil, thank you for your help today. Unfortunately, what this means is we may never find a replacement for Beaker. Yeah, Beaker, was it you the whole time? You changed those sides. You got Neil all wet. Oh, you silly prankster. Oh, you got me. What's wrong? No, the day's not over yet there, Beaker. The, in fact, uh, I think uh, we should be thinking of happier things, you know, like your going away party. Brilliant ideas. Who thinks we should have Beaker's retirement party right now? Do you? Yes? I'm always saying that science is fun. So let's prove it with my latest invention. It's the fun party! Oh yes, it's safe, Beaker. Remember, it's a party. This party started. Hey, everyone dance! No, Einstein! Move those feet! like you just don't mind. <laughs> Set a good example, Newton and Einstein. Move those feet. Here we go. There we are. That's it. Now we're going to kick it up a notch for the fireworks finale. It'll be like New Year's Eve was, only without that unpleasant Thank you. 